राम जय राम जय जय राम It offers us an opportunity to know what is Samadhi. Normally, Samadhi is the word associated with a plain dropping of the body. It has got various meanings. Samadhi, according to Papa, is a state of absorption in the contemplation of God. Samadhi is a state of absorption in the contemplation of God. That's where he says, Samadhi is a state where the me and mine is not there. Again, in another context, he says, the, the sense of individuality is totally absent, and you are in a trance state where the thought is not active. Nothing can be told beyond that. That can be called the Samadhi. And there are, again, various samadhis, nirvigatva, sarigatva, these are all academic. So, as Papa spiritual children, what are we to pursue? Each one of us has to think about it. When every year we observe the Mahasamadhi day, after some time, you know, in February, we were hearing about Puja Madhaji's Mahatma. It doesn't leave any deep impact in us. But it offers an opportunity for us to know deeply. Why are we not telling that they passed away on such and such a day? It's a Shatha day. Siti day. It's the date of their death. Do we mention that? So we start thinking. They have one become, are we to say that they have become one with the universal life? That is why we don't call it as death. Though death is there for their body. So slowly when we try to develop this, a beautiful article by Swami Shivanaji Maharaj, you know, 
that comes to us. It has, it has, it has, it has nothing to do with the word samadhi, but it will give us some, some more light. He says, Swami Ramdas is one of the rarest flowers of representative Indian spirituality. His li- life is now a practical demonstration of the scriptural description of blissful, carefree, unconcerned activity of a Jeevan Mukta. Swami Ramdas is a personification of bliss transcendence. To experience universal or cosmic consciousness is to be merged in a limitless sea of bliss. Ramdas is the living example of one that has realized cosmic consciousness. Some proof, you know. Why do we say Samadhi? Kindly think about this. Ramdas is the living example of one that has realized cosmic consciousness. The individual realizes that it exists because of the con- cosmic consciousness. The reply of mine. From where you know he says uh, consciousness there's no plural, no? Consciousness there is no plural. Tables, no, chairs, pens, specs, shirts. Everything there is plural there. But all this consciousness, love, compassion, there is no plural there. Think about it. What is it? Oh, there can only be one love. There can only be one consciousness. There can only be one compassion. Compassions, you don't see. Loves, we don't say. Consciousness, again, we don't put S. In English, it has been good way brought out. I tell them also, we don't say Bodhangal, Bodham, that's all. Sneham, Sahanabhuti, you know. Like that, you know, it is all, it is all singular. It is, there, is, there is no... So, a person who has reached that, that means the sense of individuality, when it feels separate, then there is otherness. Here, the sense of individuality realizes that it is part and parcel of the cosmic consciousness. So, Papa's Mahasamadhi day, when we observe, it enables us to go a little more deeper than the physical disappearance. No doubt, that is the day on which he disappeared, the the physical body disappeared. That is the only thing that is cognitive, you know, otherwise we may not know. For example, uh, uh, Papa was asked by somebody, when did you realize God? Sometime in 56 or 57. He said 32 years, 33 years ago. Say the specific date. He said 27th December 1922. So when we see that now, that was the day on which he left, you know. How can he say, realize, then afterwards also he has returned so many things, sadhana. Then he beautifully explains. God realization has no date. It is always there. The only thing is you, when you become aware. When you start becoming aware, that day, you can say, I have realized it. Then you are trying to get stabilized. All of our attempts are then to get stabilized. 
So in that way all of us can feel satisfied that we are all realized people. Because we have accepted that he is there. The only problem with all of us is we are we have not prioritized, we are not stabilized. That's all. Mm. So cosmic consciousness he has become one with the cosmic consciousness. Now, even after after becoming one with the cosmic consciousness, that is why he was unable to say I. He was able to view Ramdas as an individual from the cosmic conscious level. That that's how we take it. We have we infer. Because the person who was chanting Ramnam is not there. When somebody asks Papa, why you are not chanting now? The person who was chanting is not there. That's called corporeal entity called, you know, the, uh, the uh, Ramdas. That individual can be seen separately. So from the cosmic conscious level, he was able to see the individual consciousness. But when that was dropped, that day we call it a Samadhi day. In, in short, the Samadhi day of a Mahatma should enable us to go deeper into his teachings and then how did he, how did he attain that? How am I to attain that? These thoughts, you know, we intensely think the moment we start thinking about the Samadhi. Lot of thinking, there, there could be so many approaches. This is one of the approaches which we feel, you know, we should all think about it. We were just again going through Madhaji's uh, letter, Madhaji's article, that appeared in October, no, September, September 1963, immediately after the You will say dropping of the body, okay. She uh, named it as a homo mandir. So there also she gives this clue. You can close the door. In the place where the holy Homa was performed, you know, she says about Homa, you know, not cremation acts. After the holy body was offered to the sacred fire in Homa, you know, on the 27th. So in the place where the holy Homa was performed, construction of a small mandir for meditation has been undertaken. Idols or images will not be kept for worship in this mandir. All the devotees are requested not to send or bring any images for worship here or anywhere in the ashram. Why? It was our beloved Papa's wish that we should behold him in all forms and consider the service rendered to all forms as fit worship. Because unknowingly, you know, we feel his presence only there, no? So the samadhi, when the samadhi has taken, that means when the dropping of the body takes place, he becomes one with the cosmic consciousness, all pervading reality. So any attempt to 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 limit him to any place is not right from the spiritual angle. That is what Magadhi meant. He has become one with the cosmic consciousness. Even before also he was becoming one with. But still there was a body that was separating. When that is also dropped, then that's for Samadhi, we say. He has become one with. So when that be the case, how can we limit him to a particular place? So for Vyavaharic reason, we cannot change any other thing. So she thought it fit that at least that place where the body was offered, from that day onward, the body is not there to 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 separate to separate from the cosmic consciousness. 
So when we go there, we, we should develop the attitude of the what is all pervading reality. That place becomes a, a instrumental in moving from the limited form to the unlimited, to the form to the formless. Till that body was dropped, there was form, and when the body was offered to the Homa, the body is no longer there, no more there, but the one which is activating the body has become, because it has no other, no other desire centered on individuality, no more rebirth. So that means he, he is there. Oh, everywhere this cosmic consciousness is there, which is entering into all of us through the nostrils and the through prana. Inhaling exhaling. That is why when it is stopped with the death takes place. All these things, you know, all these things well up in our mind when we think about the Mahasamadhi day of it. There are so many interpretations. If we keep on digging Papagoon words about Samadhi, Mahasamadhi, there are so many, so many, so many interpretations. It is alright. But then we should also think about it. We should contemplate. This is a simple one, you know, what we read out. Samadhi is a state of absorption in the contemplation of God. Every time we slowly chant the Nama, we are placing this Nama at his holy feet and then pray to him to arrest all thought currents and at least give us a glimpse of becoming one with you. Shri Ram Jai Ram when we when we chant Nama in a slow speed and with this bhavana, at least for a trice, we are led into that. So Mahasamadhi day should enable us to think of all these things. When he says Samadhi is a state of absorption in the contemplation of God. Absorption. A dry cloth, when it comes in contact with water or any liquid, what happens? It gets absorbed, you know. Absorption. So the Contemplation of God, thinking about Him, and I definitely He will bless me with the absorption for a short while, maybe. If I am not matured enough to hold it on, He may not give me for a prolonged time, but He may certainly he will definitely give a he will make us feel the absorption. That, that samadhi is a state of absorption in the contemplation of God. He also says Nirvigal Samadhi is the final state in which the aspirant experiences oneness with Brahman. Again, there are so many, so many, uh, what do you call it? interpretations. Atman, Brahman. When the individual in the body mind intellect complex, when the consciousness, consciousness is there, that is called the Atman. And when it breaks the, when it comes out of the fence, it becomes one with, and that is called Brahman. Nirvigalpa Brahman, Nirvigalpa Samadhi, according to one school of thought, is that. Then we have heard Sahaj Samadhi. Absorption of contemplation with the, you know, that is there throughout the active 
after attaining that, when they come back to the body level, and when they live with the manifestation, it is maintained, the same level is maintained, and uh, then they have interpreted that it is called Sahaj Samadhi. So during the next ten days, you know, we will try to go through Papa's different uh, sadhana life, where he mentioned, because that is the purpose, you know. We don't mean the personal one. That we, every one of us, have some idea, especially those who have gone through in, in the vision of, in quest of God, in the vision of God, <coughs> even to some extent at the feet of God, we have got some, some idea about the physical or the outer form which we call as Papa, the Sadhana. But here now, we are trying to see how he was able to enter into the inner chamber and get established which expressed in the form of bliss throughout. The Swami uh, Shivanji Maharaj in the article, in the first para, is very touching. He says, the Supreme Being is the veritable quintessence of inexpressible, indescribable bliss, ananda. Bliss is irresistible. Bliss is infectious. Swami Ramdas is a personification of such bliss at transcendence. To experience universal or cosmic consciousness is to be merged in a limitless sea of bliss. Ramdas is the living example of one that has realized cosmic consciousness. Thus he is permeated with bliss. All his actions, utterances, his writing, bubble with the bliss, which being contagious, even to express a few thoughts about Ramdas gives me a unique thrill of bliss. At this moment, therefore, the bliss of Anandasham has verily merged with the bliss of Ananda Gudir. Ananda Gudir is a place where, you know, in Shivananda Ashram, he was living. Ashram, he was living. So, at this moment, therefore, the bliss of Ananda Ashram has very, verily mingled with the bliss of Ananda Gudir, even as the holiness that is Ganges mingled with the holiness that is Jamuna at the sacred spot of prayer. That is the moment we think of him, as we have shared before, you know, uh, we were prompted to meet uh, the ex Chief Justice of India, Yemen Venkatacharya, about 10 or 15 years back in Bangalore. So when we went there, he came out, received us. Why, you know? He said, You are coming from Anandashram, Ramdas. Bliss personified. <laughs> ah, this is the word he used. Bliss personified. And yogini, mother. So this is how they would not have come to us. It is, you know, infectious. The supreme being is the very veritable quintessence of inexpressible, indescribable bliss. And Papa himself has de uh, defined what is bliss. It is not happiness. It is happiness, but it is not happiness as we have understood it as happiness. So, he has named it as objectless happiness. So, mind will start thinking, you know. All our happiness are related to either a, an object or a situation or a person. Here, all these three are removed. Fullness. That is why he was able to do the living embodiment of cosmic consciousness. The Supreme Being is the veritable quintessence of inexpressible, indescribable bliss. 
bliss is irresistible bliss is infectious rami randas is the personification of such bliss transcendent to experience universal or cosmic consciousness is to be merged in a limitless sea of bliss randas is the living example of one that has realized cosmic consciousness thus he is permeated with bliss all his actions utterances his writing bubbled with the bliss which being contagious even to express a few thoughts about ramdas gives me a unique thrill of bliss ramdas swami ramdas is one of the rarest flowers of representative indian spirituality his life is now a practical demonstration of the scriptural description about the blissful carefree unconcerned activity of a jeevan and one more coincidence is that uh, the month of august yes august vision 1963 it was on those days because it was we have to give a uh, first proof type return and then give to the press and they will bring back again correction again correction third time fourth so normally uh, uh, two months in advance we have to give the content that is why though papa dropped the body on july 25th the august vision did not contain anything about it we were already it was sent but in that papa has written a few words about swami shivan ji mahatma so he dropped the body on 15th there in bangladesh 14th year so the papa himself writes that it appeared in the august vision vishu of the vision where he basically dropped the body on 21st july and his uh, the samadhi details and all those things appeared only in september it is with deep sorrow we learn that swami shivan that in mahasamadhi in his ashram at rishikesh on the night of 14th july He was a divine personality, a brilliant beacon to all spiritual aspirants. May his undying spirit, see these words, you know, be just like that. Undying spirit continue to illuminate the hearts of all his innumerable disciples and devotees scattered all over the world. Ram Das. May his undying spirit continue to illuminate. So what? That which has gone. and that which never goes undying spirit so we can say the that 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 experience transition na the 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 dying physical equipment and the undying spirit that particular incident is called samag okay we will take it like that. attained mahasamadhi a stage where He is freed from the clutches of the body, mind, intellect equipment. And uh, Vinoba ji says, after uh, Mahatma ji's death, something for all of us to think. Time has strengthened. Time has only strengthened this conviction. When Bapu was in the body. it took time to go and meet him now it takes no time at all all i need to do is to close my eyes i am with him when he was alive i buried myself in his work and went to talk with him only now and then now i talk with him all the time feel his presence near me some clue for all of us there are sages who strive through birth after death and yet at the moment of death they do not have the name of rama in mind not so with gandhi ji his last words were hey rama no devotee could have done more some of his ashes were immersed in the river dam at bavnar you know near his ashram there is a river called dam as i stood that day on the banks of the dam it was as though i was witnessing a new birth what i felt as i recited the ishopanishad 
cannot be put in words. The sages speak to us of the immense rage of the soul, the self. We reverently accept their teachings. But only on that day did it come home to me as a reality. So long as a great soul lives in the body, his power is limited. But when he is released from the body, his power knows no bounds. So such, such incident, such, what do you call, such occasions are called Samadhi. Okay. We can be, that is what, that is how we start getting some clarity. Papa was within the body and so we had to travel all the way here to meet him when he is available here. And the body's limitations are there. But now, after 63, the moment we close, he is before us. He is with us. We can talk to him. We can seek guidance from him. That's what he says. Now it is unlimited. So long as a great soul lives in the body, his power is limited. But when he is released from the body, so released from the body, you know, when he is released from the body, his power knows no bounds. And the most uh, important thing is, even people who have not had the privilege of uh, seeing him when he is in body, you know, Till they derive the same joy or more joy than many of us, you know? Because when they close their eyes through the teachings, you know, the other day we read, you know, Papa lives through the teachings. So when, as we approach the 13th uh, August, which we call it as Mahasamadhi Day, we let us try to prepare our mind to know more and more about this facet of his life. And by knowing this more intensely, our spiritual progress will get hated. We are not we are not seeking any 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 intellectual knowledge. We are trying to we are trying to dwell on more and more on his experiential aspect. Through his words or the words of the masters. There are many, many, many. So that we get a glimpse into that cosmic consciousness. For a second or two at least, you know, we are released from our bondage of our body, mind, intellect, equipment, the me and mine. So that the day will not go. So every every in, in throughout the year as a sadhaka, you find every two months or three months an occasion is provided by Papa to uh, to 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 intensify our sadhana by remembering these seven days. You know, Jayanti. We will try to understand what is Jayanti now. No? Jayanti is of Mahatma, Samadhi day of Mahatma, Sanyas day of Mahatma. Previously, we thought we were only confining to the physical form. When the physical form was born, we say Jayanti. When the physical form was uh, uh, not there, called Samadhi. When the physical form took a different turn in life, called Sanyas. Uh, it was all right. But it has not helped us in our journey. All these years, it has not helped us, bluntly speaking. So now we are trying to make use of all. At the same time, there must be some reason, you know. Just like when Mataji says, what, why, why Homa Mandir? What should be the, and later on, God willed or Papa willed that there should be a photo there, there should be a RV there, some ritual, no? But there were times when it was, nothing was there. Many of you might remember. Nothing will be there. We all come, when we all come there, we do some production or we sit and read silently for some time. Uh, we do try to make some inward journey. Nothing is uttered, nothing is offered. No arati, nothing. No phone, no photo. Now the whole concept has changed. It has become one of the centers for our spiritual group. I mean, uh, sadhana, Ram Ram chanting. Okay.
in a different way it is being now interpreted. So the limit we are limiting now, we are limiting to the form. So when we understand this, that is why we have put this word there in the form of a board. Those who are prompted from within, they will understand. So though the, the, the Aradi is there, though the Churi is there, offered or uh, the photo is there, we we know this is what Mataji wanted, this place. Through this place, she wanted us to connect us with the cosmic consciousness. Kindly uh, uh, contemplate upon this. We will again read that particular word of Mataji. In the place where the holy Homa was performed, construction of a small mandir for meditation has been undertaken. Idols or images will not be kept for worship in this mandir. All the devotees are requested not to send or bring any images for worship here or anywhere in the ashram. It was our beloved Papa wish that we should behold him in all forms and consider the service rendered to all forms as his worship. So in accordance with his divine wish, it is decided not to place images in the Homo Mandir. In the same letter, before concluding, she says, Omnipresent Papa's ashram means the whole universe. It is to enable us to learn this that the ashram was established with the Lord Papa. So I am I am in Ananda Ashram. I have been called by Papa. I have been drawn by Papa to come to this ashram, not to limit, not to limit to this ashram. My spiritual practices should enable me to transcend everything. <coughs> Transcend all the so-called limitations. Omnipresent Prapas Ashram is the whole universe. It is to enable us to learn that that this Ashram was established by the Prapa. So let us all try to think about it more and more. We will try to dwell more and more on this for the next 10 days. Ultimately, you know, we get a different uh, <coughs> a perception about Samadhi itself. This is also called Samadhi, the dropping of the body of a saint, and they say there are different kinds of Samadhi, Bhūt Samadhi, Jara Samadhi, all those things we mention. From here it is cremation. Again Samadhi, Koma. Mm-hmm. So why born and death are unknowing coming from? Eh? Why born and death are unknowing coming from? I can't, I can't follow what he said. Why born and death are... Why am I born? No, no. Why born and death are unknowing coming from? Born and death, why unknowing? Unknowing. If we get an answer, we will not be sitting here, no? <laughs> it, it can't be explained. Ninety, no, no, ninety, ninety-nine percent of the, uh, the thing we cannot, we have to get answers from within. <laughs> Even God realization, we, what, what we thought, we thought, you know, it is, Papa here says, on 27th of December, it has taken place. Mm-hmm. What does it mean? So that means, realization means, he, at least we accept that he is there inside. Then the next effort is to stabilize. Are we, have we reached that stage? That's all. We have to keep on doing this, you know. Outwardly we may be doing so many other disciplines. Where are we? What are we now? We may be deriving some joy. But has, has the link been established? Has the link been touched and kindled? The link with him and me? I think that that's true. I am doing Ram Nam, I am doing Bhajan, I am doing this, I am doing that, everything is alright. But has it to be, has it enabled me to, to link, link with him who is inside? That can, that can be done, that can be pursued and understood and realized only by that individual. Papa himself says, whatever Ramdas has done is not right, is not correct. 
at, at one time he will explain another time he will explain different because the audience is different the context is different it has to be presented in the way in which they can understand so finally he said he has been struggling but uh, ultimately it is from the, the, the it should come from one's own experience not from any words it is very clear very good. indescribable so um, samadhi day means you know intense inward journey how that inward journey is going to be taken by all of us we have to find out we don't mean just closing our eyes and sitting In, inward journey can be through different 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 methods not living at the surface level but going deeper down into anything that we think anything that we see anything that we experience we just all pray to him to give us the needed uh, mental framework so that we will be able to really understand the mahasamadhi of papa and also to know that he has not left anywhere he is very much with us very much with us guiding us leading us so the 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 it the, the day does not day does not merely remember the dropping of his body but the day also remembers about how his power got released on that day which was which was which was only to a limited people who came in contact with him who knew about him as we shared with you uh, two three days back we still get orders from different parts of the world for inquest of god no many of the writing to the newcomers you know about papa it is really touching how whatever it may be you know we would have put something in the website okay but to get thrilled by his words and then they in a papa is papa is revealing to them the impersonal papa is revealing to them even through the personal form personal teachings and then he writes they write to us for, from cambodia one person has uh, asked for the entire uh, ashram publications we don't know him immediately we have asked for his address like that so many so many people not only in india but outside so the the so we come to know that on on 25th july 1963 what happened was only a release from a limited to the unlimited expansion see so many so many uh, dimensions are emerging out and every time we should know that he is with us this in us guiding us he is telling us through that form to go beyond form this beyond form or do it slowly you know we try to gather everything so the as we reach on the 13th we will uh, try to pick out the maximum benefit of papa's inspiring life and mission hari om om shri ram jai ram jai jai ram om shri ram jai ram जय जय राम वो श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम वो श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम ओ श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम वो राम जय राम